This is Chris with Ayo's Like. Subscribe. Subscribe to Team W Wrestling on YouTube. Subscribe to Mother Channel Word of Chris. And subscribe to this channel, Chris with Ayo's. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both of my TikToks. So I'll be down there in the description box. And I'm here to do my AEW Dynamite March 1st, 2023 reviews. So here we go discussing about AEW Dynamite. It was a one-on-one -on -one match. It was to kick off the show. It was the AEW All-Atlantic Champion Orange Cassidy versus Big Bill with Stokely Hathaway at ringside in a one-on-one -on -one match for the AEW All-Atlantic Championship. So yeah, it was a one-on-one -on -one match, and it was a pretty good match to kick off uh, Dynamite. It was going back and forth and everything. At one point, we see Big Bill actually choke slam Orange Cassidy through a table at one point, and then eventually Dan Housen comes down to the ring and stuff, trying to uh, pretty much make sure that Stokely Hathaway can stop interfering in this match. Uh, but Orange Cassidy was doing pretty good, and he just kept on rolling around and everything. Big Bill was just getting tired of it. But then, at one point, we see Dan Housen try and put a curse onto Stokely. And then Big Bill comes up and stops the curse immediately. And then Dan Housen started cursing Big Bill. And then that's when Big Bill just takes out Dan Housen. And then Orange Cassidy jumps up with a suicide dive, taking out Big Bill and Stokely Hathaway. And then he starts beating down Big Bill outside of the ring. And then he brings him back into the ring, hitting the orange punch onto him. Big Bill is still standing, so he hits a second one onto him. And he was still standing. But then he climbs up the top turnbuckle and jumps off with a massive orange punch onto Big Bill, pinning him for the one, two, three. So yeah, Orange Cassidy defeated Big Bill tonight on Dynamite, and he has retained the AEW All-Atlantic Championship. That's what happened. Pretty good match. For that match, I'll give it uh, two and a half stars. That's what I'll give it. But yeah, pretty good match between Orange Cassidy and Big Bill. But then after that, we see John Moxley cutting a promo backstage, and this was from last week. Uh, after Dynamite, where he's all bloodied up because window he bleed. Uh, he was just talking about how him and Adam Page will be in a uh, Texas death match this Sunday at Revolution. He's going to beat him and bloody him up and all that. We already know there's going to be blood in there. But yeah, uh, that's what he said. But then we get to the next part where we see the AEW World Trios Tag Team Champions Matt and Nick Jackson, the Young Bucks, and Kenny Omega, the Elite, come out. And it looks like they're going to make their way down to the ring, I guess, for a match. But then, as soon as their theme song is playing and they're on the ramp about to come down, all of a sudden the lights go out, it comes back on, and behind them was Malachi Black, Brody King, and Buddy Matthews with Julia Hart, the House of Black, and they started attacking uh, the Elite, beating them down and stuff. So, yeah. That's what happened there. The Elite got laid out by the House of Black. But now, up next, we're going to be seeing a ladder match uh, with a bunch of people. And Samoa Joe will be on commentary for this match. So, yeah, uh, I will see you guys later until the next thing that happens on AEW Dynamite. So, the next thing that happened on AEW Dynamite, it was a ladder match. It had a bunch of people in it. Uh, don't know who's all in it, really. We got Will Hobbs that's in it. We got Sammy Guevara. Uh, Eddie Kingston, A.R. Fox. Uh, yeah, there was just a lot of people. Uh, Kanosuke, Takeshita. Yeah, just a lot of people. And, um, yeah, this was a ladder match. And winner of this ladder match, I guess the ring, the brass ring, pretty much, that's above the ring, uh, will be number one contender for the TNT Championship. And they'll be facing Samoa Joe or Warnlow, whoever wins the title this Sunday at Revolution, next week on Dynamite in a one-on-one um, -on -one match for the title. So, yeah, that's what this match is all about. And Samoa Joe was on commentary for this match, and it was a pretty good match. Uh, everybody was just getting their moves in. Um, we've seen a lot of stuff. We've seen uh, Action and Dreddy try to do, like, a Falcon Arrow onto Semi Guevara, which was, like, on a bridge of a ladder like they got like the ladder set up in the middle of the ring and then they got like the ladder another ladder as a bridge from the top rope to the uh other ladder uh like a bridge and he was trying to hit like a falcon's arrow and kind of like missed it and that i know it had to hurt action dreading a lot more to semi for sure from that and then we see uh 
that one guy wearing a mask. It ain't Ray Phoenix, but he ran across the ropes and he jumps off with a shooting star press onto AR Fox, which was on another ladder, like a bridge pretty much from the ring to a ladder outside of the ring. So yeah, that was pretty cool. And then we see Sammy Guevara at one point jump off the top of the ladder with a swanton bomb onto that guy uh, through another ladder, which was like as a bridge outside of the ring with steel chairs and stuff. So yeah, that's what happened there. But yeah, it was just everybody was just doing crazy moves and everything. Uh, we see Kanosuke Takeshita hitting a blue thunder bomb off the top of the ladder and everything. But then at the ending, we see Will Hobbs uh, taking out to, uh, Kanosuke Takeshita, uh, climbs up the ladder, grabbing the brass ring. So he wins the match, and yeah, Will Hobbs will be either facing Wardlow or Samoa Joe next week for the TNT Championship. But then after the match ended, Will Hobbs was walking up, Powerhouse Hobbs was walking up the uh, ramp, and then Samoa Joe gets off the commentary about to go after him, but then Wardlow comes running out, and then a bunch of security guards had pull him back, Samoa Joe quickly ran off, and Wardlow's just beating down the security guards while Powerhouse Hobbs is just sitting there watching him do it, and uh, Wardlow grabs one of the security guards and power bombs him off the stage onto a bunch of them outside, like off the stage and stuff, so yeah, uh, Warlow just standing tall. He'll be facing Samoa Joe this this Sunday at Revolution for the TNT Championship, and then Powerhouse Hobbs will be facing one of them for the TNT Championship next week on Dynamite. So yeah, that's what happened there. Pretty good ladder match. I give that match three and a half stars. That's why I'll give it a very good ladder match. But next we'll be seeing Chris Jericho versus uh, Peter Avalon up next in a one-on-one -on -one match. So yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on AEW Dynamite. See you guys later until then. So the next thing that happened on AEW Dynamite, it was a one-on-one -on -one match. It was Chris Jericho versus Peter, uh, P P P Peter Avalon. Pretty Peter Avalon. There we go. Uh, in a one-on-one -on -one match. And uh, it was an okay match. Peter Avalon attacking Jericho right when the match started. Uh, beating him down and everything. And he was doing pretty good. Laying in some cross bodies and stuff like that. Almost getting some near falls on the Jericho. Hitting some punk kicks, cross bodies, DDTs, and all that stuff. So yeah, he was doing okay. And then all of a sudden, he gets hit with the code breaker by Jericho. And Jericho pinned him for the one, two, three. So yeah, Chris Jericho defeated Peter Avalon tonight in a one-on-one -on -one match. That's what happened. It was an okay match. In my opinion, this is like Peter Avalon's best match. I think I, I, I can't remember the last time he wrestled on Dynamite. And I, I can't even remember if I even seen him wrestle, really. Well, actually, I, I know I've seen him wrestle, but it's been... It was only a few times, and that was on Dynamite. But, yeah, for that match, I'll give it uh, two stars. That's why I'll give it. It was an okay match right there. But, yep, that's what happened there. And then after the match ended, Jericho starts beating him down and stuff, beating him down with a baseball bat. And then Ricky Starks comes running out, saving Peter Avalon. But then he gets attacked from behind by the rest of the Jericho Appreciation Society, by Jake Hager and Daniel Garcia and stuff, getting laid out. And uh, Jericho said that he'll see him on at revolution and hit him up and hit him with the judas effect as well so yeah that's what jericho did to uh ricky starks but then after that we see adam page having an interview backstage and uh, well he wasn't even having an interview he was just talking cutting a promo talking about how he's going to beat john moxley this sunday at revolution talking about how john moxley took everything away from him the world title uh his memories and all that stuff but this sunday He's going to beat him in the Texas death match. So, yeah, that's what um, Adam Page was saying. But then after that, we see Christian Cage get interviewed inside the ring by Rene Paquette. And he was talking about how he's uh, how he put everything aside, how he thought he was done with Jungle Boy up until he turned on AEW Dynamite one day. And then him, that Jungle Boy, was talking about how he's going to win singles gold and everything this year. But he said that he's going to not let that happen because he's going to be the one winning singles gold and the world title and all that stuff. So, yeah, that's what, Jer uh, that's what Christian Cage was talking about. And he's just hating on Jungle Boy so much, you know. Uh, not going to lie, I really like the feud and everything between uh, Cage and Jungle Boy. So, yeah, it's been a really good feud. But I think, in my opinion, it should be ending at Revolution, probably. So, yeah, that's what I would say. But, yeah, it's been an okay feud. But, yeah, uh, when, uh, you know, Christian Cage was talking, all of a sudden we see Jungle Boy pop up, popping up on the big screen. 
like uh you know it was just a video package really with uh jungle boy uh just digging a hole and stuff like a grave for christian cage and then we see a bunch of stuff throughout their past with uh christian cage attacking them and stuff and they just going back and forth and then we see a gravestone of uh christian cage's name on it so yeah that was a pretty cool scene right there pretty good pretty good stuff but then after that we see tony Schiavone interviewing uh the aew women's champion jamie hater and brett baker backstage and jamie hater was talking about it'll be way good to uh beat not only one bitch but two bitches and that's Rhea and ruby soho this sunday at revolution and uh brett baker was talking about how uh they got a match how two women how two former women's champions got matched later on tonight as well so yeah that's what she was saying but up next we're going to be seeing the ftw champion hook versus matt hardy one one for the ftw championship so yeah i'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on AEW dynamite see you guys later until then So the next thing that happened on AEW Dynamite, it was a one-on-one -on -one match. It was the FTW champion, Hook versus Matt Hardy with Stokely Hathaway, Ethan Page, and Isaiah Cassidy at ringside. And it was a one-on-one -on -one match for the FTW championship. So yeah, Matt Hardy versus Hook for the FTW championship. And it was a pretty good match. I think in my opinion, this is probably Hook's uh, best match yet on Dynamite, at least. Uh, it was going back and forth and everything. Matt Hardy was doing pretty good. He was getting hit with some suplexes and stuff by Hook. And uh, Matt was just doing pretty good, hitting some side effects and everything onto Hook. At one point, we see the referee checking on Matt. But while the referee was checking on Matt, we see uh, Ethan Page grab that cast off of uh, Stokely Hathaway's hand. And Hook has his head like halfway out of the ring. And he gets hit upside the head with the cast. Uh, Matt Hardy pins Hook one two Hook barely kicking out at two. Uh, Matt Hardy then picks him up, tries to hit the twist of fate onto him, but then Hook starts locking on that submission hold, making Matt Hardy immediately tap out. And then Matt Hardy starts smiling after the match ended. So yeah, uh, that's what happened. Hook defeated Matt Hardy tonight in a one-on-one -on -one match. So yeah, he has retained the FTW Championship. But that match between Matt Hardy and Hook, I'll give it two and a half stars. That's why I'll give it. It was a pretty good, entertaining match. But yep, that's what happened there. But up next, we're going to be seeing Tony Storm versus Riho one-on-one -on -one up next on Dynamite. So yeah, Riho versus Tony Storm one-on-one -on -one up next on Dynamite. So yeah, uh, we'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on AEW Dynamite. See you guys later until then. So the next thing that happened on AEW Dynamite, it was a one-on-one -on -one match. It was Tony Storm with Soraya ringside versus Re Riho one-on-one. -on -one. So yeah, it was Riho versus Tony Storm one-on-one. -on -one. And it was an okay match. During this match, we see the AEW Women's Champion, Jamie Hayter and Britt Baker make their way down to the ring. So yeah, they're sitting at ringside for this match. And it was an okay match between Riho and uh, Tony Storm. At the ending, Tony Storm was taking control, drop kicking Riho into the corner. And then she hits that hip attack onto her. In the corner, drags her in the middle of the ring, goes for the pin. One, two, Ruby, uh, Riho barely kicking out at two. And then uh, Tony Storm tries to lock on the cloverleaf. And then, uh, you know, Britt Baker was distracting Tony Storm. She, uh, Britt Baker gets on the ring apron. Tony Storm was trying to knock her off, but she quickly jumps off. And then Riho rolls up uh, Tony Storm for the three count. So, yeah, Riho defeated Tony Storm tonight on Dynamite. That's what happened. Then after the match ended, uh, Tony Storm attacked Riho, got out of the ring, and starts brawling with Britt Baker and then um, both of them kept on brawling and everything and then we see uh, Jamie Hayter deciding to get into the ring going after Soraya, uh, Soraya and they was brawling inside the ring and then Ruby Soho makes her way down there and brawls with them uh, so yeah they all three was brawling inside the ring and then we see a bunch of referees coming down uh, pulling all of them apart and making sure that they can stop fighting so yeah, that's what happened there. For that match, what happened after the match, I'll give it two and a half stars as well. Give it, it was okay stuff, so yeah. But then after that, we see Keith Lee and Dustin Rhodes talking backstage. And Keith Lee was somehow they got a common en enemy and stuff with Swerve Strickland and all that stuff. And how they're going to be handling them on Rampage and all that stuff. So yeah, that's what he was saying. But up next, we're going to be seeing Dark Order in action and Claudio Castanoli and Willie Yuta, which I'll be talking more about that up next. So yeah. Uh, I'll be talking about that match up next, but yeah, uh, I'll see you guys later until the next thing that happens on AEW Dynamite. See you guys later until then. 
So the next thing that happened on AEW Dynamite, it was a casino battle royale. It was a tag team battle royale. Uh, pretty much a tag team Royal Rumble match in a way. Now we kick off the match with uh, Dark Order coming out. And then they get attacked from behind by Claudio Castanelli and Will Yuta. So yeah, those are the two teams that starting off the match and everything. Both of them is going back and forth. And then eventually we have the rest of the tag teams coming down. Like the Lucha Brothers, the Butcher and the Blade. Uh... 2.0 just a bunch of other tag teams coming down and everybody's just getting eliminated one by one and everything we have the kingdom in this match where maria got knocked off the ring apron uh and mike bennett and uh matt taven i think it was that got eliminated in this match and everything and uh we seen claudio castanelli getting eliminated and then we pretty much start going down to the final two teams where it was the butcher and the blade and orange casting dan Housen. Uh, Orange Cassidy was holding his own up until he starts getting beat down by the Butcher and the Blade. And then we see Dan Housen coming up behind the Butcher and the Blade, tossing him over the top ropes, uh, winning the match. So, yeah, uh, Dan Housen and Orange Cassidy won the match, and now they are in that Fatal 4 a tag team match for this Sunday's Revolution pay-per-view. So, at Revolution, it will be the Guns versus the Acclaim versus Dan Housen and Orange Cassidy versus uh, Jay Lethal and Jeff Jarrett in a Fatal 4 a tag team match for the AEW World Tag Team Championships. That's the match now set up. The Guns was watching this match from the ramp and everything. Um, and then they come down attacking Dan Housen and Orange Cassidy. And same for uh, Jay Lethal and Jeff Jarrett. They was beating down Dan Housen and Orange Cassidy. Like we see Jarrett hitting the, uh, the stroke onto Orange Cassidy, laying him out. But while those two teams was beaten down, Dan Housen and Orange Cassidy, all of a sudden the Acclaim comes running down and making the save, uh, attacking the guns and Jarrett and Lethal. So, yeah, making sure that, you know, Dan Housen and uh, Orange Cassidy was perfectly fine. But, yep, that's what happened there for the match. What happened after the match? I'll give it all three stars. That's why I'll give it. It was okay stuff. But, yeah, that's what happened there. And then after that, we see a video package with MJF and uh, Brian Danielson. And that video package was really good. It was really good stuff, so yeah, if you have it, yeah, go check it out. But next, we'll be seeing Brian Danielson and MJF in the ring up next, the last meeting before their match this Sunday at Revolution in that 60-minute Ironman match for the AEW World Heavyweight Championship. So yeah, that will be up next on Dynamite. So yeah, I'll see you guys later until the next segment happens on AEW Dynamite. So the next thing that happened on AEW Dynamite, it was a segment where we get to the final segment of the night. So we see Renee Paquette in the ring and uh, out comes Brian Danielson. So yeah, uh, she's interviewing Brian Danielson in the middle of the ring. And he starts talking about a lot of things, how he'll be facing MJF this Sunday at Revolution for the AEW World of Way Championship in the 60-minute Ironman match. And then he starts going on about how he had retired a few years ago and everything and fight for everything. And then all of a sudden, he gets interrupted by the AEW World Heavyweight Champion, MJF. MJF comes out. He was about to start talking all of a sudden up until Brian Danielson cuts him off. And Danielson was just laying in on him, talking about how he had to fight for his dreams, how he had to fight for everything, talking about how he had to fight to get out of retirement, fight the authority, um, fight to get main events. You know, uh, he said that he had a uh, place to work at that would have paid him for the rest of his life, but he decided to leave out of that because he wanted to come here and fight for the world title and everything. And he says that he's going to take away the AEW World Heavyweight Championship away from MJF this Sunday at Revolution. He started cussing and everything. They had bleep it out and all that stuff, which I kind of like hate, but I can't understand it. But yeah, that's what happened there. And uh, Brian Danielson was just laying it in on MJF, just sending him a message for what's to come this Sunday at Revolution. MJF couldn't really say anything about it. So, yeah, that's what happened. Pretty good segment, though. That was it. Uh, but, yeah, for match of the night, in my opinion, was probably that ladder match. That ladder match was really good. That's why I like. That was match of the night for me. I like this segment, though, with Brian Daniels and MJF. Can't wait for that match. But, yeah, for tonight's AEW Dynamite, I'll give it seven stars. That's what I'll give it. It was a pretty good episode. It wasn't that bad. But yeah, it was uh, it was it was an okay episode for the go home show for Revolution. So yeah, that's why I'll give it. But yeah, uh, this Sunday's AW Revolution, which I'll be talking about. So yeah, look out for that. 
But other than that, like, subscribe. Subscribe to Team W Wrestling on YouTube. Subscribe to my other channel, Word of Chris. And subscribe to this channel, Chris with Ayos. And follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and both of my TikToks. It'll all be down there in the description box. And I'll see you guys later for this Friday's Friday Night Smackdown reviews. And this Sunday's AEW Revolution 2023 reviews. See you guys later. Until then.